A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When things are going well in a country, when times are good and everyone has enough food to eat and things are flourishing, it can be really easy to start to believe that, uh, you know, maybe everyone's okay. Maybe there is no such thing as evil. Maybe there is no such thing as sin. Uh, and, and certainly I think we've seen in our, in our country uh, over the last 30 or 40 years in a special way, that idea enter in that, you know, maybe there is no sin. Maybe there is no evil. Maybe, uh, maybe Christians are just sort of hyperactive and superstitious people who, who love yelling at other people and making them feel bad about themselves. But Jesus is pretty clear in the gospel today about the fact that there are two, two roads. And one is very easy and very broad, and it leads to death, and it leads to hell. And the other is narrow. And he, in fact, says those who enter through it are few. Those who find it are few. When things are going well, again, it gets easy to believe that maybe everything is okay. Maybe I don't need to talk about sin. Maybe I, I don't need to care for my brother or worry about the way that they live their life or worry about fighting against people who would seek to change the laws of our country to make evil things permissible and to call evil good. But when persecution starts, when people start to fight against the Catholic Church, when people start to oppress Catholics, and when people start to uh, seek to take away their freedoms, as we have in our country, people start to wake up and we start to recognize that in fact what Jesus is saying in today's Gospel is true that there are two roads, there are two sides, that there is evil, and that evil is seeking to undo what we have in our society and is seeking to take away the rights of people uh, to get more people to enter down that broad road that leads to destruction. This fortnight for freedom is an opportunity to fight back with the only ways that are acceptable to fight, which is prayer and fasting and almsgiving and asking our Lord to intervene and and work to help change the hearts and minds of the people in our country who are heading down that wide and broad path. This is an opportunity to, to also pray that our fellow uh, citizens of the United States, even those who find themselves on that broad path that leads to destruction, that they may experience a change in their life, may experience a conversion in their life where they recognize the damage that their sin is causing them in their life and may turn back to God, and may turn back to His ways, and embrace them. It is the case that there are two paths, two roads diverged in a wood, as Robert Frost says. There are two paths. Despite what some people and some theologians might have tried to say over the years, there are two paths, and one is very easy, and there are lots of people on it, and it leads to destruction. And there is another path that is very narrow, and few find it. Those are the words of Christ. Those should cause us alarm, and especially in this era of persecution, where the church is being persecuted, and that persecution looks to only continue. That will hopefully, again, wake us up to the fact that we need to do all we can for ourselves and for our fellow countrymen, our fellow citizens, that they and we may turn from the evil, broad path that leads to destruction, and may again embrace the commandments and the precepts that the Lord has laid before us uh, for all of those who seek to inherit eternal life and to lead lives of happiness here on earth.